Hey guys, Brian Tech here, bringing another RuneScape video. And um, this time it's going to be a money making guide. It's going to require a little bit of RNG, but it'll be all worth it when the drop comes. This can be for lower level players and medium level players, but high level players can also do it too. Now we're trying to get to the Dragon Pickaxe. Uh, ignore my Gilded pick, which is untradeable, but um, the ungilded version is worth around 15 mil, which is insane. But um, it, killing the monsters is actually quite easy, but you just need a little bit of luck and some patience. The inventory is going to consist of prayer potions if you want to use protection prayers, etc. Uh, turmoil, piety, whatever. Uh, soul split. Super restore for familiars if you decide to use it. Uh, bunyips are recommended because it'll, it gives you sustain. If you have unicorn, you guys can use it too. Or even a pack yak or, whatever, or something like that. Or even a steel titan if you have 99, but I don't know why you'd be there. Um, some food is also recommended and the gear that you want to use is the charming imp which helps uh, on collecting charms because you don't have to pay attention when picking them up or you, you don't even have to pick them up at all and the gear that's recommended is some non-degradable gear like bandos and weapons like the abyssal whip or even an AGS which is probably the only reason why I'm using it it's going to be non-stop combat so you don't want to fork out a lot of money when it comes down to it when you're all geared up just go to Kalgadrim and follow my path this method can be good for lower level players because they're fairly easy to kill. You can use prayer to negate most of the damage and negate most of the damage. And uh, might as well talk about some things before we get there. You can use magic or range to kill these. It might be a little bit faster since you don't have to move from place to place, but you will be taking more damage in the long run since most of the monsters hit ranged attacks. The quest requirements is just a forgiveness of a chaos dwarf, which is a relatively simple quest. and. To do the prequel quest, which is like 2 or 3, it'll take about 3 hours-ish, depending on how fast you do it. And that's pretty much how long it took me to get it, and it's pretty easy. It's pretty brainless. You guys can just use a quest guide or something like that. But just follow my path, and once you get there, decide if you want to use a familiar or not, and then just start attacking the monsters. You don't want to attack the black art monsters, but the chaos ones, because the, bla the chaos ones have a chance of dropping them for the... F and um, the black art monsters doesn't so it'll be pointless just to attack them monsters are gonna be aggroed for the first 15 minutes so be careful on not taking too much damage and try to not to attack the black art monsters like I said because they'll be aggroed to you automatically and they don't drop the pick like I said so it's a waste of time and you guys should just ignore that but once you've settled in there uh, the drop rate is very slim I have to tell you guys that um, some of you might get disheartened when you guys hear this but uh, the chances of dropping a dragon pickaxe is one out of 3,300 from hand cannoneers, um, which is a uh, you know it's a very, really scary number in my opinion, and one out of 5,000 from the chaos dwarves. Dwogers are also around one to 5,000, but in the long run, it's average that you'll get around one pick every eight hours, which equates to around two mil an hour. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get more than one in eight hours. For example, two, and that'll equate to around four mil. Uh, cash per hour sometimes you'll not like for example if you get one pig in like 12 hours or something it's like 1.3 or 4 mil an hour theoretically speaking but it's our average around one pick every eight hours they don't really don't drop anything else good b besides uh, the dragon pick but if you guys want to use a ring of wealth you guys can use a ring of wealth so you guys go can pick up a hand cannon or the hand cannon shots from the hand cannoneers to make some money to cover the supplies etc because on average, you'll get around 60k from the hand cannon shots, and you'll get around 22k from the hand cannon. So that'll probably cover most of your prayer potions and food if you guys decide to actually pick it up. I actually got a hand cannon in like the first 5 minutes that I went there. Um, back in the day, if I got this, I could have probably sold it for like 500k because it was actually worth something and you guys could use it for PKing and stuff. But now it's pretty much garbage and no one PKs anymore and it, and it only sells for around 11k. Makes me wish that I got this method earlier but you know what can you guys do but there is still a chance that you guys can get a dragon pickaxe 15 mil and hopefully RNG's on my side because I need to get a dragon pick soon because I spent 15 mil and have a 15 mil deficit in my bank so I hope I get one soon and I'll let you guys know if I do or not but that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. Comment if you have any more questions or criticisms or anything like that. And subscribe for more future content guys. Um, don't get discouraged if you guys don't get anything in the first 2 or 3 hours. 
it's not expected but if you guys have a strong will and you guys are willing to actually kill some easy monsters which is good for lower level players you guys can actually make quite a bit of money but other than that guys have a good day bye